Hey guys, welcome to this episode. Today we're going to look at how we can use the lab table for science in Minecraft Education Edition. Okay guys, let's have a look at this one. Now, I do heavily recommend that you probably don't jump into this one first. Go have a look at the tutorial on constructing elements and the one on um, creating compounds first, because this will make a lot more sense if you've had a go at those two. So we're going to use something called the lab table, and we're just gonna focus on trying to create one thing at the lab table today, and that will be, uh, we're gonna call it, it's called super fertilizer, okay, essentially. And I've chosen this one specifically because it's made of two things. One that we actually need to create, we need to create the compound, and one which is an element which is already created and we can just grab that. So let's have a look. We need a couple of things to get started. Of course, this is about lab tables. So I'm gonna press E for my inventory and I'm going to write in lab and there it is there. I'm gonna need my lab table. I'm also going to need to, I'm going to need to make um, ammonia. Okay, so that's not, I can try and type it in, but it's not going to be there. We actually need to create this compound. So to do that, I'm going to need our compound creator. Now you could take this right back to the basics, or right back to the first tutorial, which is on constructing elements, which means for the ammonia, we could go back and create everything. So the nitrogen and the hydrogen, to create the ammonia and you could also go back and create the phosphorus now i'm going to kind of skip that very first step okay just to save on time but it's definitely something you can do and make if this was a lesson to make it even richer for the students so what i know is that the very first thing is i need to make ammonia and for that i need nitrogen so i'm going to start writing in nitrogen and there it is there so i'm going to pick that one up pop it there in my hot bar and i also need hydrogen so i'm going to start writing hydrogen i'm going to pop that in and to create this finally i need um phosphorus so there it is there okay and so as i said before these three here you could go back and start at the right at the beginning and make them in the element constructor. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to put my compound creator down and we're going to jump in there. And as I said, we need to make ammonia. So to make ammonia, I'm going to need one nitrogen. So right click just to get one. So don't left click and we need three hydrogen. There they are. And so I'm going to go right click one two, three, and there she is. So we pick her up and we put her in there. And now what I wanna do is I'm going to press one on my keyboard to get the lab table. I'm gonna put my lab table here, open that up. And now I can make my fertilizer. So to make my fertilizer, I need one ammonia. So right click again, and that needs to be combined with phosphorus. So we get one phosphorus. There we go, I'm gonna click combined. It's kind of gonna have a bit of a think about it and it pops out. So it's around here. I just need to walk or go near it. And there it is. So I'm going to just click uh, it's number six. And there it is. I'm holding it, it's, it's fertilizer. So I'll give you a really quick example of what that's going to do. It's gonna work in the same way as bone marrow will work, bone meal, sorry, um, in here. So if I just get some grass and we put some grass down and I get my super fertilizer and I start putting it down, you can just see it's gonna make that grass grow super fast because it's super fertilizer. All right, guys, there's a link underneath for some more instructions to how to use this lab table. I hope you find it super useful and have heaps of fun with your students with it. We will see you again soon. Cheers.